So we have been dying to eat at Best Friend in Park MGM since it opened, but uh, just have not got around to it yet. So now that we actually are staying at Park MGM, what better chance than now? I'm starving, let's go eat. All right, guys, just got sat in Best Friend. I had to think about it for a second. Um, yeah, this is a fun vibe in here. Everyone's dressed really casually. So, you know, we got people in tracksuit serving, as you probably just maybe saw in the background there. Um, there is a sampler on the menu that I wanted to get, but there's no substitution. $75 per person, which actually seems like a great deal, but there's no substitutions. As you guys know, I don't eat meat, so probably thought that wasn't the best idea. As soon as we sat down, they brought these Hawaiian rolls out with like a bit of sea salt on there. In fact, I'm gonna take a quick bite of that. They look really warm. And I want to take a bite while I'm talking to you guys. Mmm. So that just melts. Mm. Anyway, we decided just to order a bunch of stuff. See how it goes. Cody got himself a pineapple doll whip, which is for $19, which comes with uh, white rum. I got a drink called the Chihuahua for 20 bucks. If you guys know, I got two Chihuahuas at home. My drink comes with Dos Hombres Mezcal, which I love Mezcal. Campari, Yuzu Juice, Grapefruit, Ghost You Salt. So I'm really excited for that. All right, so the drinks just got here. Cody got a pineapple whip, which is, uh, I was expecting more like a Dole Whip. This is more like a slushy, but it still looks really good. I'll give it a quick sample. This is with the white rum. Mm-hmm. Still really good. Very coconutty too, which I was expecting it to be more pineapple, but it's almost like a pina colada type taste, but still really good. My drink here is the Chihuahua. As, you, as I mentioned earlier, you guys seen, uh, I do have Chihuahuas at home. So shout out to Brooklyn and Harlem. This one goes out for you guys. Uh, this one's gonna be a mezcal based uh, cocktail. Mm. Very smoky from the mezcal taste. There's also like a little bit of tartiness from the yuzu and the grapefruit in there. So it's a nice little uh, mix though. To start, we ordered the banchan, which is gonna have like a bit of a sampler of kind of all their little appies at the beginning. So we're gonna have like kimchi, uh, pickled daikon, broccoli, marinated cucumbers, sprouts, uh, a few different things like that, which we're gonna wait for that to show up. Everybody talks about the slippery shrimp and the kimchi fried rice, so we had to order that one. Kimchi fried rice is caramelized kimchi poached egg for 20 bucks. Slippery shrimp is $26. You've got uh, crispy rock shrimp, chili mayo, and walnuts. Sounds absolutely delicious. And we wanted one more thing just to sort of add to it, so we decided to get the barbecue scallops for $45. Those are topped with chimichurri, so all sounds really, really interesting. Again, loving the vibe in here. Ooh, slippery shrimp just got here, so good timing on that one as well. So uh, we're going to give that one a sample now. All right, guys, the food's starting to pile up here, so we're going to start eating soon. The banchan just arrived. Uh, the slippery shrimp arrived first. I am going to try that one first just because it got here first, and it's probably the only thing on here that's actually hot. So I'm just going to steal one of those. This is going to be like rock shrimp. Have a bit of a spicy mayonnaise on there. I'm really excited for this one. Mmm. So best way to describe it is like a spicy mayo like you'd get with uh, sushi. Ooh, that's got a kick to it. Um, nice crispiness because it's like a, a deep fried and battered shrimp. Really good though. Definitely creamy because of the sauce, but definitely has a bit of a kick to it. Mm. It's really good though. I'm also going to be a little bit rude and steal some of these uh, stuff from the banchan. So there's a bit of everything. You got some broccoli, some cucumber, got some sprouts, some fruit, some daikon. You got a bit of everything. I'm going to try a little bit of this. I believe this is the daikon here. There's a, a lot of very fragrant, I will say. Hmm. That's a very like kimchi flavor going on there. I'm gonna try a bit of this uh, broccoli here. Mmm. That sesame and like a bit of a soy taste too. I'm just gonna try a couple of these bean sprouts and then I'm gonna get Cody in here too because I don't want to eat all the food without him. Mmm. Definitely get the banchan. Great way to start the meal. Especially when you're in Vegas and you're probably not eating a lot of vegetables. You know, you're eating a lot of meat, whatever. But a good way to kind of start things off, I would definitely recommend this. Anyway, we're gonna pile on this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm hungry, let's keep eating. All right, so the scallops just arrived. We got six pretty decent sized scallops. I think this one's about like $45 or so, so it's definitely not on the cheaper side, but they look pretty substantial. They are topped with chimichurri. There's some onions here too, which I'll steal a couple of those just to... Everything's kind of just started showing up really quickly, so they do not play around here. There you go, nice little cut there. They're very tender, like kind of cut through just like butter. Mm. Oh my god. Those are really good. Cut very well. You kind of get a bit of that barbecue taste in there. 
chimichurri comes through very nicely as well. Nice little seasoning. It really complements the scallops really, really well. I'm just gonna try one of these onions. I'm sure they're not, they're probably just like grilled or whatever, or barbecued with the... Even still, just the onions are really, really nice as well. Anyway, before this stuff gets cold, we're gonna continue eating along. So far, so good. No complaints anyway. All right, guys, the kimchi fried rice just showed up. This is one that I hear everybody basically getting and saying how great it is. So we did get this. I just broke up the egg in there. Steal a bit of that and a chunk of this kimchi here. I love kimchi. Cody's not a huge kimchi fan, and I think it's because of the smell, he says. He's never actually even tried it, but uh, we're going to make him try it today. In fact, a lot, I will say, all the, the banchan, a lot of the banchan has this very similar taste. It all kind of seems like it's in a similar uh, sauce, so I don't know if that's on purpose. Anyway, this is the kimchi fried rice. Mmm. So I think I just got a chunk of cilantro that came through really, really strong. Take another bite just to see. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, like very hearty. Not a super strong kimchi taste, but it does have a little bit of a bite in there. Yeah, that's good. It's very, there is a bite. Yeah, the bite comes through a little bit afterwards as well, but otherwise still really, really good. I'm gonna put this in the center so uh, Cody can have some of this as well. But I would say this is probably a good thing to order. It's a lot of, a lot of rice, so. I think you're going to leave full with this one. All right. So, best friend, usually I like to give you guys my, you know, recap right after we leave a place, but uh, long story short, some of my actual best friends from uh, the UK popped in yesterday and surprised me. So we ended up hanging out with them all last night. And uh, anyway, the day got away from me. So just want to give a really, really, quick, really ugh, quick recap over our experience at Best Friend. So yeah, this is a place we've been wanting to check out for a while. Um, to me, celebrity chef restaurants usually don't live up to the hype. And uh, I would say we did end up really enjoying this um food wise was pretty good i will say the prices were maybe a little bit higher for what you're really getting but that said the food was really good um now we did make the mistake of basically ordering pretty much every spicy dish on the menu which might not have been the best idea uh so pepto was my friend just you know just in case didn't want to have any problems and you know fortunately i didn't but um yeah i would say that we probably should have maybe ordered a little bit differently that said everything we had we did enjoy so the banchan was really good I, there's this uh sushi place we used to go to in uh, toronto where i'm from and uh it was like a korean and japanese restaurant and they used to bring out the banchan in the beginning which i used to love it like the little you know bean sprouts and all those different things and unfortunately that place changed owners and they don't do it anymore but anyway long story short i missed it and uh, i didn't even know what it was called until you know recently i just thought it was just something they just brought out kind of just get you started so that was really good um we have been in vegas for a few days all the food is uh, pretty much everything was was sort of like vegetable based or fruit based and a lot of it had that fermented type vibe to it as well. Think kimchi, um, which is great for digestion. So that was probably a good thing for us to have, being as we have been to Vegas for a few days now, and uh, you know haven't maybe been eating and drinking the best <laughs> since we've been here. So that was kind of a good thing, maybe to get the sort of the insides working properly and everything. So I was actually really happy to have that. Um, the shrimp were really good, but. Uh, Definitely, definitely on the spicier side. Uh, I could tolerate it, don't get me wrong, but um, my worry is always um, after. But anyway, didn't have any problems. I know TMI, but uh, yeah, the shrimps were really, really good, really tasty. Scallops were really good as well. They were cooked very nicely. The chimichurri on top gave it just the right amount of flavor. You still got that barbecue kind of flavor from the actual scallop as well, which was really nice as well. So definitely enjoyed that. The standout for me was, I would probably say the the kimchi fried rice. Um, Cody is not a kimchi fan, and you know, especially with him, he he doesn't. I eat it at home. He doesn't like the smell of it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I was surprised that he actually really liked it as well. He was one thing that I said, like, I really want to order this because I've heard good things about it, and uh, yeah, he definitely really enjoyed it as well. So, if you aren't sure maybe about the kimchi, uh, don't let it throw you off. There's not a really strong kimchi flavor there's a little bit of kimchi in the rice i just thought it to be with the egg in there and everything almost like a bit creamy a bit spicy but uh really flavorful really really delicious we actually f brought it home and i ate it this morning before we went out for breakfast uh the spice definitely had time to 
uh, reactivate, which was surprising, but uh, it was still really delicious. I, we really enjoyed that one. Uh, drinks were pretty good as well. I mean, around the $20 mark, I do find a lot of the restaurants here, the drinks are definitely expensive. And sometimes I do kind of shy away from ordering them, but uh, you know, we both did enjoy what we had. So I, I, you know, we can't really complain. I guess also for us, you know, the fact that we do live in Canada, you know, I always, I'm thinking the conversion rate, cause obviously the dollar in the States is, you know, worth more. So, you know, for us, it's always like, okay, well, you got to factor in that extra percentage of what this is actually costing us so yeah there's a little bit of sticker shock sometimes for us anyway so with all the things we ordered we both had a drink each uh we had the banchan we had the uh scallops we had the rice and we had the shrimps i think after tip and tax and everything we got out of there at just under 200 i believe it was around the 180 ish mark which um, yeah, it was definitely uh, on the pricier side, I will say, for what we had. But that said, we still enjoyed everything we did have. Um, fortunately for us, we did have some credits as well from Park MGM, so that was nice to spend. So if you are checking out these restaurants, make sure double check, see what offers you guys have. Maybe you have some credits that you can use towards your spend and everything. So it's definitely worth looking into. But would I go again? I would say yes, for sure. Uh, we would definitely check that out again. Um, I would maybe. You know, if I would leave anything out, maybe the shrimps, they were good, but just uh, maybe a little more spicy than I would personally like to deal with. Uh, the rice was phenomenal. The rice, uh, sorry, the scallops were delicious as well. And uh, the banchan was nice as well, just as something maybe a little bit more healthy when you are in Vegas and maybe not eating the healthiest while you're there. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever eaten at Best Friend before? What were your thoughts? Um, you know, what would you recommend ordering from there? What did you think of what we ordered? Did you think it looked good? Would you try it? Anyway, uh, all that. If you guys have any questions as well, please don't hesitate to leave them below. Uh, it's helpful for other travelers because they have probably the same questions as you do. It's also really helpful for me because any interaction you guys have with my videos, whether you're liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed, really appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel as well. Totally free for you really helps me keep delivering this free content to you. Um, there's tons more uh, Vegas content on my channel. I've got other restaurant reviews. I've got hotel reviews. If you're curious about Park MGM as well, I've got two room reviews for Park MGM to show you guys as well. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check those out. Uh, once again, this has been Nicholas Potright. Viva Las Vegas. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.